bass can and kick it. Hello YouTube, today me, Fox Diamonds, and Dominic Lomit1999 are going to be doing a server review. This server review is slightly different. This is a prison server review, and you might be saying, Oh, another prison server, are you kidding me? This one has a small twist. It's much better than the average prison server. Its name is Gizmo Prison. Some of you may have heard of it before. But, I'm going to join it. The IP is gizmoprison.com. But that actually takes you to a lobby. I don't understand the concept behind that. I think it started out originally just as a prison server, but they changed it to several servers. Um, it's most like Uber. To get in, you click right click with the clock and you click prison server. Now, once you go in, you'll notice these signs ranks and warps. Those are donator warps if you want to donate. Those are ranks. And those are the cells. So whenever you rank up, you can go into a different cell, the cell of your rank. I am currently out of prison, even though I'm in the prison right now. I, I might as well be a visitor. I'm a citizen of the town. But when you walk in, you start as block C. And you earn money by mining, the tree farm, fishing, and PvP. Um, you start as C. Once you get enough money, which is 15,000, you can rank up to block B. It's not easy, though. Mining, chicken farm, and PvP are your best ways of making money. Here, mining is going to be in all of them actually. Then you get to block A, that costs 50,000, same thing. Then you get to block Elite, 150k. Then you get to block Freedom, which is like you get free, that's 200k. And then you get to be a smuggler for 300k. And that smuggles drugs, you get drug farms, which you can smuggle drugs in the prison. But once you get the smuggler, if you're on the server for 24 hours, it'll automatically rank you up to citizen. If you do slash AR plus space check, I'll do a demonstration. One day, 17 hours and 40 minutes is my playtime on the server. Um, let's go into contraband items. These items are contraband, meaning you cannot hold them in front of a guard, because most of them are either weapons or drugs. And if you get caught, the guard will count down from five. And once he gets to one, if you do not give him the contraband item, he will jail you for five minutes, which is a huge inconvenience. And ironically, jail within jail. Oh, um, Dominic, do you have anything that you want, that you would like to say? Um, did you already uh, explain the rank up details? Like, uh, yes, I did. Oh yeah, you yes, you talked about that. All right. Um, let me think. What should? Oh yes. Um, what signifies PVP? You didn't talk about that, did you? Nope, you can do the PvP zones. Alright, so basically what happens is, in each different block, C block, B block, any block, there's these things. You're going to see sugarcane. Wherever you see sugarcane, if you go through that, you are now in PvP zone. It will even tell you when you go through it. It will say PvP enabled, and when you come back, it will say PvP disabled. Now, when you go through there, of course, you're wide out in the open, and you kind of have to be careful, because there's a lot of high-level people like me, waiting right around the corner for you to come out unknowingly and then murder you. So make sure before you go through, check your surroundings, all right? And then there's the mines. Now, of course, they do have signs there saying that, warning, if you put lava in the mines, you will be jailed for 30 minutes. Now, a lot of people have found a way around that. Instead of using lava, they use anvils. You do not want to get caught using an anvil by a guard or, you know, a anvil falling on your face because then you can't really complain. There's no rule against it. Oh, I got muted. Um, yeah, guards are abusive. The, when you're out in the free world, now we're talking about the free world. Um, basically, what you can do is you can go and you can make your own fort. You cannot claim it unless you're a certain rank donator or you are the rank leader, which basically you have the prestige in the game. I'll be talking about that next, even though I have not prestiged. Womp, womp, womp. Um, when you go out there, basically, go as far as you can and build your base. People could find it, a lot of people could hack, and they could see your base. You know, there's just odds against, you know, goods. Fortunately, I am a citizen bedrock. I can fly around because I am a donator rank. But if I were to PvP while flying, I would get fly taken away permanently. No way you can get it That's back. That's only in the free, free world. Which I'll show them real Only quick. in the free world, though. Nowhere else. 
Now, there's also quartz where you can go into God mode. If you go into God mode and then people and no one can fight you and they ignore you and they start fighting other people, if one of those people die and you take that person's stuff, then that's considered item stealing. And then they will take away your God mode because that's not allowed. You're not allowed to go into God mode and take someone else's items when they die. You have to do it legitly. Sorry. But then, uh, what else do you think I'm missing, Fox? Um, that seems to be about it. That seems to be about it. Oh, yes, warps. Donator warps. When you first spawn, if you look to your right, you're going to see signs. Now, depending on what donator rank you are, you can warp to those certain places. When you're a $5 donator, you can go to the donator pub. And basically, when you go there, you can buy pots, you know, like strength potions, fire resistance potions, and all that good stuff. Then, there, when you're a $5, you can go to Warp Donator, then Emerald. Well, the, like, this is ranking up. Well, I'm going to show them Warp Emerald, Donator. I'll show them Warp Dem then Donator. Bedrock. Oh, you want to show them the demo? Of all the Warp Over by the signs. These are the Warp It goes from so Donator, to Emerald, to Bedrock, to Void, I believe, then Obsidian. Then sponge, then diamond, then quartz. Quartz is a hundred dollar donator, so you know make sure you're using your money wisely. Don't go lying to your parents and all that stuff. Be truthful. You know, earn it. If you're really dedicated um, to the server, getting just donator normally is usually. If you're really dedicated, it's worth it. Trust me. I'm a bedrock as well. I am too. We both got I'll bedrock, the bedrock and it was mine. on a discount. I'll we bought the them for twelve dollars. The bedrock mine is amazing. I can make about a mil in maybe thirty to forty-five minutes at maximum. Um, oh yeah, any what donators? Else do you think we're missing? I showed them in the donator pub. I was just there a few seconds ago. Did you show them all the other blocks? Um, I'm in the bedrock mine right now. Yeah, when you're in the bed, um, also, with each donator perk you get, or each donator rank you get, it cheaper and cheaper it costs for you to repair your equipment. When you're Actually, a smuggler, that, they, they it took costs that away. like $500,000 just to repair your full inventory. They took that away, I'm afraid. It costs the same for even donators now. I was really... No, no, no. Now when I'm in bedrock, it only costs 10k per item. Nope, it's 50k now. They repair. They changed it. And it's the same as smuggler now. I'm All serious. Right. Um, the owner thought it was too abusive because courts can um, repair their items for fifty dollars each. Well, also they kind of paid to do that. But yeah. back on subject. Um, oh yes, this is my character standing in front of blocks. No, uh, no longer standing in front of blocks because blocks decided to run away. No. Blocks, how come? Yo, you're glitched on my screen. You're flying. But uh. Anyways, uh, what else do you think we missed on this subject? Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Do you think we covered it? Yep. So, Gizmo Prison is an amazing server. It's awesome. You can have an infinite amount of fun. You... I, I would rank this... Four and a half. Uh, yeah, four and a half, most definitely. The half point would be taken off due to... The, fact the lack of guards and server moderators and people that aren't on. And the fact that the guards that are there will abuse it, and the rules are way too strict, especially on chat moderation. Way too strict. Like if you use over four letters of capital, or four, over four capital letters, you are muted for five minutes. Also, I, called Dar I told Darren he looks like dog puke, and he did not take that as a compliment, even though... I believe I was... Dog puke looks kind of cool. I, I think, mean... No, no, I think you should take it as a compliment, because I'm sure he looks way worse than dog puke. That's probably giving him emotional support, but... Can well, you pause the video for a second? Um, actually, I think we should conclude the video. Alright. So, YouTube, subscribe, um, like, all takes a... Check out, check out Gizmo Prison. I mean, it's really fun, you know? It takes two seconds to type in an IP and log in and see what it's about. Maybe longer if you're going to actually play the server. If you absolutely hate it, just tell me in the comments. I doubt you will. I mean, it's nearly impossible to hate it. I mean, I was a guard and I got demoted and I still play it. A lot All of right, well, I guess that it. concludes it, everybody. Right. Bye.